Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to the Music of Mavery channel. I'm your host, Mavery, and today we're going to be starting a new series, Fire Force, otherwise known as Inin no Shobodai, which literally translates to something like the Flaming Fire Brigade or something like that. Right, so if any of you guys are newcomers, just to give you guys a quick overview of how I do my videos, I'll normally have an introduction or recap at the very beginning of the video where I talk a little bit about the anime and or, you know, what happened last episode, quick recap of my thoughts and whatnot. Uh, the middle part would be the blind reactions. And finally, at the end, I will have a review and musing section where I concentrate my efforts a little bit more on fury crafting and predictions and whatnot. Now, with that said, this is more of an action anime, so uh, it remains to be seen how much we can do there. But all animes have a story, right? So, anyways, uh, to get into the introduction part, what is Fire Force? Well, it's adapted from a manga. The manga itself isn't quite... Um, isn't exactly very well regarded. Uh, I've read, I haven't read it, but I've read reviews about it, and for the most part, it seems that people are saying it seems fairly generic, if you will. Um, but to be honest, I didn't come here because of the, you know, because of his manga, because I heard good things about it. I came here because, well, if I'm being completely honest, it's because I originally thought this was an anime about firefighters, right? I was like, holy crap, they are doing an anime in with the subject matter of firefighting? That seems cool, right? But, of course, it's not exactly that. There are sci-fi elements to this as well, uh, fantasy elements. It's not actually just an anime about people fighting fires, right? Um, maybe spiritual fires, supernatural fires, but not normal firefighting. Uh, but anyways, the biggest strength that this anime can uh, can say it has right now is probably in its animation, and that is because the animation studio behind it is David Production, uh, the same animation studio that brought to us JoJo, right? All the seasons of JoJo, as well as Cells at Work. So, you know, looking at that, uh, and looking at the promotional video, I was immediately hooked, right? It seem to be very very tight in regards to its animation which is good considering that this is an action oriented anime the director himself um he's i guess relatively junior uh like i said relatively speaking but he has done uh you know his resume includes works such as the um madoka magica movies uh as well as some of the monogatari series stuff so yeah, solid there as well the voice actor list also quite solid so i'm looking forward to this right it's not quite the firefighting that i was looking for but maybe it's something even a little bit better so let's just see how it goes Alrighty, let's begin in three two one play Making eight? Okay. Flaming! Hmm. <laughs> Straight to the point, isn't it? Okay. I mean, I have read the synopsis, so I kind of know like what what the supernatural stuff is. It's people spontaneously combusting, right? Okay, it looks like people are quite familiar with this happening. Ah, and there's the demons. Well, aren't you lovely looking? Ah. 
Okay. So how are they going to fight the fire? Or fight the demon? What? Oh. So they're literally... Okay. I was like, are they gonna use normal firefighting techniques? Oh. Nice. Is that like an aimant? Fire soldier. Okay. That was quite <laughs> abrupt. If that said, though, why would lighting your feet on fire make you run faster? <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay, let me mute this song, but I'm gonna, uh, since this is the first episode, I will be looking at the opening at least for this episode. Hmm, pretty nice song. This seems to be a band. Mrs. Green Apple. Okay. Man, this looks, yeah, this definitely looks good. David Production. Nice. Like, isn't this just a joy to watch the animation? Alright. We are back. Ooh. A church of some sort. So they use um, military ranks. <laughs> when he's nervous. <laughs> oh 
Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. So that's why he was smiling at the beginning. No, it's adorable. Really? Like he burned his house down? Our parents? Oh. Already the fan service in the first episode? Well, hey, I'm not complaining. What the hell are these? So wasting no time with introductions, right? Hmm. Well, this definitely reminds me somewhat of uh, Madoka Magica. Yeah, so just directly from this, I'm gonna guess he burned his mom or their house or something, probably. Okay.
Unpowered. Okay, so there's people who are powered and people who are unpowered. She's unpowered? Then what is the power that she was using? Second gen pyrokinetic. Okay. And she's powered as well. Third generation. <laughs> Matchbox. Isn't that kind of an ironic name? Matchbox? I gotta say, the aesthetic for this is really, really nice. Alright. Blue stripes. So they still need normal firefighters to keep the normal fires in control. So that like an entire religion spring out of this? Or is this just the religion that this world has? And it's apparently a little bit different from, you know, our world. Do they actually have anything to allow them to breathe through the fire and flames and smoke? Oh. Well, that answers my question. Ah, there it is. So is it just like a misunderstanding? Yeah. Okay, okay, we get his backstory now.
Okay, counter attack time. Have they even trained before yet? <laughs> and I thought this guy was a pyrotech kinetic. Why is he using normal weapons? Ooh. Okay. I thought the others were supposed to sort of like distract that inferno. So they're just buying time for him to charge up. So it sort of works like an afterburner on his feet. So yeah, I'm guessing like an entire religion sprung up out of this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, first step. Hey, it's a genuine smile. That's nice. Oh damn, this ending sound seems to be lit as well. 
So again, I'm gonna mute this. Yeah, this sounds great. <laughs> you can definitely get the, uh, you know... You can definitely see where this director is coming from, with this kind of art style and whatnot. I mean, I'm assuming that's, that's uh, something that the director or the animation team decided to put in, because it's... You know, it's different from the normal animation or the normal art style of this. Nice, nice. Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so that was episode 1 of Fire Force, and I gotta say, it definitely did not disappoint, right? I really enjoyed it. Now, if I were to, you know, critique one thing, I guess it would be the backstory of our main character, right? It definitely felt a little bit too in your face, if you will. And also, I don't know if it's because uh, it's it's the sort of trope or cliche that's been done many times before. Um, you know, for some reason, X Men keeps popping into my mind, although I can't really put my uh, put my finger on what specific story or what specific character it's about. But it's just that you know, from the very get go, when they started to call him a, de a devil and whatnot, and start talking about his past, I was like, okay. He's probably burned down his house or burned down his uh, family or something like that, right? Now, of course, it, this didn't happen. He he was it was just a misunderstanding. But it's still, I'm saying it's generally in the same vein, right? Um, you know, you have these powers, people fear them, yada yada yada. Um, so I don't know. It just felt like they they could have done this maybe a bit better. It just felt like very rushed and not very compelling overall. But you know, that aside, that aside, the aesthetic of this world is great, right? So I love the backstory that this world currently has. It seems that they, they even developed a lot of their own, you know, specialized systems. It's sort of like our world, sort of like our Earth, but not exactly the same at the same time. Uh, you know, with these sister characters, right? I'm assuming that they probably created an entire religion based on these infernos or uh, at least something related with that, right? And that is probably also why, you know, uh, they need a sister on hand when they are battling against infernos as well. It's mostly just a matter of uh, procedure, if you will. Originally, I was thinking that, hey, is I thought she was praying, maybe she has some special powers, but no, it seems that the only special powers here are those pyro, pyro powers, right? Uh, the sister is just there for ritualistic reasons if you will um and definitely i do feel like that is probably you know they probably based that created that entire religion i, I believe that god was called soul or something based on these fire powers right um and speaking of these fire powers another another interesting thing to me is our our protagonist is a third generation pyrokinetic, right? Uh, so there's first generation, second generations, and third generations. Now, originally I thought that they were, they might be, I don't know, it, it might be passed down through, you know, through your family lineage or something, but that doesn't really make sense as well, especially when you consider they said that the first generation pyrokinetics uh, are, you know, labeled infernos, right? They couldn't have any control over their powers, so they just combusted and um, were put down uh, later, if you will. So it, it doesn't seem to be a situation where the first generation bred the second generation. Although we could, I could be wrong. It could indeed be that uh, we just don't know yet. Uh, but from what I can see from this episode, I'm going to venture a guess and say that it's not through it's not through a family heritage kind of thing. Um, and in fact, the the way 
I'm assuming, actually, or this is sort of like my theory crafting right here, I believe that probably it's the fact that they can later control these powers from the second generation onwards that this whole religion came into place uh, in the first place, right? I believe that these will probably be related. Um, no, that's again, that's just a guess. I, I don't really base this on anything, it's just something that makes logical sense to me and can sort of fit together nicely, if you will. Um, as for the other parts, let's see, uh, the lieutenant, I'm thinking that he probably also has some kind of special backstory as well, considering that he is a pyrokinetic and yet he doesn't use his pyro powers, instead opting for conventional weaponry, right? So probably there is some kind of backstory behind him as well. And, oh yeah, and speaking of lieutenant, um, I, I also want to nitpick maybe this one thing, uh, which is their, their ranks, right? Because... Um, so first of all, the, the official title for the captain, right, it's, um, he's leading a Daitai, which is the equivalent in the army of a battalion. Um, so, you know, if you're going by normal military ranks in order to lead a battalion, it's probably somewhere like at least a major, if you will, not a captain. A captain is a leader of a, uh, of a Chiltai, uh, which is more of a company-sized kind of thing. So, uh, I'm not sure whether this is, this is a mistranslation or is, the, is it the fact that uh, used in, you know, fire, firefighters or whatnot, they have a different kind of structure. It's just kind of weird for me that a leader of a Daitai would be a captain. That doesn't, you know, it shouldn't happen. Uh, it shouldn't happen that way. So, but again, that's really, really minor, right? It's, it probably won't have any effect whatsoever. You know who's the guy in charge and who's the second in command, and that's all you need to know, right? So, yeah, um, well, basically, this, this anime seems great. <laughs> um, like I said, I absolutely adore the animation style, and again, you can really see uh, who it's made by and what animation style both the animation studio and the director with some of the art direction that they've been doing uh, just in this and just just in this episode alone right so the art is great the the jokes the comedic timing um, I found it funny right I laughed out loud a lot of times uh, and they even include some fan service as well right so who can complain about a little well-timed fan service it's not like it's overtly so and it's just sprinkled here throughout um, and the scenes moving at the same time as well so no harm done right so all in all I'd say again I'm not quite sure where this story is gonna go I can kind of see why people would be sort of put off by the backstory especially in regards to the main character the protagonist but um, just based on the world setting the aesthetic and the anime uh, the action alone I would say this is good enough to stand on its own feet, right? Even if the story is completely whack. So uh, that's been my review of Fire Force Episode 1, and I will definitely be continuing this series. Now, however, um, next, week might, next week's episode might be a bit delayed. I'm on a business trip for the entirety of next week, so Episode 2 uh, might be delayed by a few days or so. Uh, we'll see, right? We'll see. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later, hopefully in the not-too-far future. So until then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.